Hi there, my name is Kronenberg and welcome to my channel. Okay, this is a game of a oh, clip of loadout uh, where I basically pick weapons and try different loadouts. Uh, many people do this, so I thought, why not? Let's have a go. So, the weapon I'm going to be using is on BF3, it's called the AN94, it's an assault weapon. I'll be using the foregrip, the heavy barrel, the PKA 3.4 scope, uh, M26 mass, uh, and the M9 suppressor. So basically the A94 with the PKA is for kind of picking off people at a medium to short distances, you know, even sometimes maybe in a bit of a long distance as you'll notice later on in the video where I'm actually picking people off and I can just about see their uh, muzzle flash. Um, the M26 mass is for close and quarters. Um, again, you'll see where I kill people quite close because that's the only way f to kill people with that gun. Um, I was a bit hesitant at first using the PKA because I'm not used to using like medium scopes on my assault rifles. Uh, but it's actually quite good. You know, when I got used to it, it was quite quite good fun. Um, now, at the very beginning, you'll notice that I kind of like switching between about four or five different weapons, trying to figure out what I'm doing. There's a good reason behind that. Uh, BF4 and BF3 are different kind of setups. But when I was messing around with my mouse settings ages ago with my Razor, for some bizarre reason when I reset them, if I scroll my wheel mouse down on one, I think it's BF4, I can't remember which one it is, but BF4 might be say scroll the mouse wheel down and it goes through cycles through weapons one, two, three, four, five. But if I do that on BF three it goes five, four, three, two, one. So I kind of have to go backwards and so I have to kinda of get used to uh the setup, which is a bit annoying. But, you know, uh the first time I do it, you kinda of get used to it. So I chose Sane Crossing. I could have chose Grand Bazaar but I wanted something with um, kind of a medium-ish kind of maps and no major vehicles. I mean, there's there's tanks, but not really in this one. I don't think it's... I think we chose the small one. So there's no tanks. There's just... Um, uh, in fact, there's no vehicles at all, I don't think. I don't, don't remember seeing any. Um, so uh, I will be doing this for BF4 and BF3, but only if the weapon is the same. Uh, and the unlocks are more or less the same. So, for this one, there is no AN94, sadly enough, in BF4, which is annoying a lot of people. But then we get some other interesting weapons anyway, so that's beside the point. Um, like I say, I did enjoy this. Uh, got some really good kills uh, with the sniping of it. Um, I had to kind of tap fire, because of course it's like um, bouncing all over the place otherwise. Uh, the, the, the overall gameplay you know it's fine. The obviously with this one I'm trying to cut so that you don't see me just dying miserably all the time. I will learn how to merge better uh, as I see a lot of big YouTubers kind of like as they die they re-emerge on the next bit. I'm still learning you know with, with that that section but I am doing quite well I, I feel anyway with my my setups. Um, I've got other um, loadouts in the pipeline um, but let's just concentrate on this one first. Um, there was even a point where I didn't put this in the video because it was quite boring, where I was in the uncap because we were stuck, and uh, I was sniping out using the A in ninety four. So I was kind of uh, at the back where the if you played that same crossing on the Russian map, kind of where the um, uh, you can get to it on Rush. Basically, I was kind of there, and there was a lot of snipers hanging around there, and I was pick, 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 picking people off. Um, but it was literally a case of I killed one, die, killed one, die. So I thought it was pretty pointless sticking that in, but it was actually quite good fun because you can just see the the muzzle flash from where they're shooting, so you just fire into that. Um, it's roughly an idea, and then you kind of move it up a bit, but you know the bullet drop in BF4 is to, uh, BF3 is totally different to BF4 as is evident with sniping. Um, the M9 suppressor, I never got around to using it which is annoying um, but again bullet drop drops off so I was hoping to do the similar sort of thing in BF3 if there was an M9, uh, an AN94 which there wasn't so you know you can't, can't do what you can't do. Um, I don't normally run around with the foregrip and heavy barrel at the same time, not on the A94 anyway. I can't remember what my um, custom s uh, setup is at the moment, but uh, it was actually quite interesting. Um, 
The N26 mass is understated. Most people don't realise what it's like, but it's actually quite a quite a hefty little, little weapon, and it is a more or less a one-shot kill, which is very good, especially normal. Uh, so yes, so I'll be producing more. Um, hopefully, the next one will be a mixture of both BF3 and BF4. Uh, we'll have to see how that one goes. Um, and I'll try and pick similar kind of maps based on the fact that BF3 and BF4 are a bit different. You know, there's n there's no close quarter maps in BF4, uh, sadly enough, unless you choose a uh, team deathmatch on that um, that ship. So kind of like I engage with BF2. If anybody remembers BF2 back in the day of uh, first person shooter of beginners. Anyway, there you go. And uh hope you enjoyed this all and uh, look forward to seeing the next one. Okay, thank you.